Hello, smart viewers. Welcome to Face to Face. And with me, William Grinaldi, of course. <laughs> and as usual, in every episode, I'm going to discuss about various topics, you know, which involves human interest, you know, various topics that, you know, it's quite interesting and pleasurable to watch. And for this episode, I'm going to discuss about, you know, kind of like this, you know, self-improvement basic thing that maybe a person needs to have and it's uh, it's about uh, how to become an you know an interesting and develop your self confidence yeah so for this segment i'm going to discuss about um, several tips on how to you know kind of like increase your uh, self confidence and also to find your in, in kind of like interesting stuff about you that uh, you can explore and for the first tips is that you you have to push through self-limiting beliefs yeah so as children you know we think we can conquer the world and but somewhere between childhood and adulthood our enthusiasm and natural inclin inclination is to dream big our squash you know our parents and teachers starts imposing their own beliefs about what we can and can do in life upon us so if the instructors at the FBI Academy were not pushing us past ourselves, limiting beliefs, they weren't doing their job. So the second tip is that you have to never confuse memory with facts. So our memory does not store information exactly as it's presented to us. So instead, we extract the gist of the experience and store it in ways that makes the most sense to us. That's why different people witnessing the same even of and have different versions. So, you know, our brain has a built-in confirm confirmation bias. So that means it stores information that is consistent with our own beliefs, values, and self-image. This selective memory system helps keep the brain from getting overloaded with too much information. So recognize that your memory doesn't always provide you with accurate information. So for example, if you have low self-esteem, your brain tends to store information that confirms your lack of confidence. That will be all you remember about, about a specific event. So, And the third uh, step is that you have to think positive to overcome your negativity bias. So since the early days, humans learned to get lunch or be lunch. Yeah. And our natural negativity bias has kept us safe from danger for thousands of years. But not every new or different thing is a threat to our survival. This negativity bias can chisel away at our confidence because we are hardwired to pay attention to all that we've been we've done wrong so for example and by fbi agents are th thought to hunt the good stuff it can be hard at times you've got positive information you know like teflon is it's like teflon easily falls away so but negative information you know sticks so you, do, you have to think positive to overcome your negativity bias and for the fourth tip is that you have to overcome self-doubt yeah so if you lack self-confidence you all you will always feel like you're at the mercy of other people so when you assume a victim mentality you are no longer resilient to life's inevitable obstacle sand roadblocks yeah. so you know for example you know and every just to go where they are needed not to well, they feel most comfortable. So it's it's like you know if you're a, in a sign of investigations, you have no idea how to solve. You know, yeah. Um, you have to think. You know, like drop in the middle of any any situation, anywhere, anytime, and you you will not be scared because you are confident that you will succeed wherever you are. So that's the four tips. Yeah, that's the four tips that I can give you. You know how to become interesting and how you can uh, develop your self confidence. So for the next segment, I'm gonna invite uh, my guest, my special guest for today's episode, which is related to our topic that we discuss. It's related to her profession also. Yes. Yeah. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned on face to face.
Hello, smart viewers. Welcome back to Face to Face. With me still, William Grinaldi. And um, as I promised on the previous segment, I'm going to invite my guest for today, which is related to our uh, previous segment that we discussed about how to overcome your self-doubt and how to you know, improve and maybe find your self-confidence. So without ado, further ado, I'm going to invite you, my guest for today. Hello. Hi, William. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We can uh, briefly introduce yourself to the smart viewers so sure. they can get Okay. You know, uh, hello, smart viewers. My name is Nisa Muluk. I'm a professional uh, radio announcer currently on Hard Rock FM, also a professional MC, Master of Ceremony, and voice over talent. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So that was brief. Yeah. <laughs> that was brief. Yeah. She said brief. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, relating to our topic yeah, yes. for, to be, for this episode, mm -hmm. maybe you can share about, you know, uh, you know your, your past experience that. Um, you, you finally find yourself, you know, you you, oh no, you, you get your passion or your interest related to your profession. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, it's funny that you say about overcoming self-doubt and, and past experience because as a kid during uh, elementary and, and uh, high school uh, moments, I wasn't a really, uh, what do you say, an, an, an uh, outspoken kid. But then, yeah, but, but then I... Uh, Not really talked to. Yeah, yes, yeah. I, I was always kind of like in the background, just observing other people, observing mm -hmm. uh, my friends. Yeah. Not the first uh, person who raised their hand, <laughs> not like that. Yeah. So, uh, I, find, I found a, a radio announcer profession yeah. was uh, somehow intriguing for me mm -hmm. when I was uh, in that uh, era because I listen to radio almost every day mm -hmm. from the moment I get up and before I go to sleep again and I realized that how powerful a radio announcer can be they can influence their uh, listeners and 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 you can really like remember what what the radio announcer said and 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 imply it to your to your daily life that's when I determined I wanted to be a radio announcer oh, yeah so like uh, how how come you know like from your pre uh -huh. yeah, your yourself you know you're you're not really confident of you know yes. raising your hand yeah in, yes, yes. In, and then become the a person like this how you know like finding maybe you, you, there are a specific moment or just you know ga gaining your confidence over time you yes know? I think that's that's more like it I I, I gain my confidence over time uh, because uh, what I what I really uh, experience is that when you overcome and you learn about your weaknesses, you learn about your strength and you try to overcome your weaknesses, you try to get out of your comfort zone and conquer your weaknesses, that's when you gain more strength, right? Yeah. And by gaining more strength, you have a sense of self-awareness that that you are good, that, that I am good, that I am enough. That's when you have, uh, that's when I get my self-confidence more. Oh yeah. Yes, so, during you know, you know like yeah, are there any like specific moments like mm -hmm. you know you listen to radio a lot maybe you like try to emulate the the announcers or mm -hmm. you know you uh, have the intentions to you know get in trainings or something like that. You know? Yeah, well um, f when I first applied to be an announcer they uh, they gave me the company gave me a, a few months of training. That's when we learned the basics, and but before that, I I took a major in broadcasting school. Oh yeah. So that's when I learned the basics about broadcasting, and then um, during my first how do you say it, uh, first experience in a radio in a real radio yeah, industry, yeah. yeah, that's when that's when you really learn about uh, the the work life, the 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 real like seniority, yes, <laughs> yeah. and the harsh <laughs> life of of working life. And uh, that's when you learn how to be more self-confident. That's when you learn that you have to master your strength in order to to show uh, to the world, to show to the other people, your 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 coworkers, your peer group, that that you are uh, you have what it takes to do your job. Mm, yeah. yeah. Or, uh, talking about you know your, your period, like um, from you know from maybe high school mm -hmm. or elementary, you know you. You are not so, you know, being talked even. Yeah. Um, how does you know? Maybe there are specific experience of, you know, 
uh, you you know, create your intention on going to broadcasting school and uh, you know how how uh, are there any like spark you know that spark kinda, uh, uh -huh. uh, spark you know like yeah I want I want to go to broadcasting school or you know like I think that. it's because because of the the, determi the determination that I said before about being a radio announcer since yeah. in an early stage of life oh, yeah. so I already know what I wanted to be and I took the broadcasting school so it's more like knowing what you want from the early stage of life so you know where you have to go um. you know what you have to uh, uh like where where school uh do you have to go which major that you want to take i think knowing what you want from early stage of life that helps you to to um determine your path for your career um. i think that's yeah and and um because i already know what i want that makes me more confident to to uh, to live all that uh, uh, stage of life, like uh, taking the school and then uh, the taking the trainings. Yeah, yeah. Profession, yeah. Yes. And yeah, the, the, and maybe the key point is that mm -hmm. you know, knowing what you want. You know, it's uh, maybe yeah. yes, but it's not. It's not like we we. I think not many of us are so lucky to realize and knowing what we want from the early stage of life, yeah. right? Probably because uh, family education or family background. Yeah. Not so many parents can can um, embrace yeah. their kids' talents and and support them, and not making them uh, people that they don't want to be. You know, sometimes. Um, yeah, sometimes yeah. You know, there are like some obligations yes, or, or you maybe know, or your parents wanted you to be something else some, that yeah. you don't want that you don't like so I think uh, the family uh, core the family background is very important to to make someone become confident for their own choices for their own uh, consequences for their own life I think oh. that's very important it's, it's yes like that's also like the key of you know like there are some um, various elements that you know like try to influence that yes. kind of factor yes, yes. So, yes. so we'll continue our discussions later on on the third segment so stay tuned with me and this also <laughs> on face to face Smart viewers, welcome back to Face to Face, and we will continue our discussions about you know how to improve your self confidence or even find one, and uh, how to you know find your inner strength also. Yeah, so um, back to our discussions, you know yes. about you know how to improve uh, your self confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, you can, you can like elaborate um, some kind of experiences in relating to your profession that boost your self confidence. Well. Um in a professional uh, mode, it, it's when, for me, it's, it's it's the small things like when when my boss uh, trusted me to handle like a prime time session, or giving me more workload that uh, they don't give to other employees. That's when I I I took it as a as a boost for my self confidence, because that means that I am capable. I'm good enough. Uh, for doing more than uh, and for for gaining more responsible for my work, mm -hmm. I think that's that's the small, yeah, the small steps. <laughs> I don't need like a, like an employee of the year, or I don't I don't need something like yeah, that. It's just that small need step. Like, um, specific recognition. Yes, like yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. The small reward in life when you know like a pat in the back from your boss, like <laughs> good job, something like that <laughs> makes me happy already. <laughs> um, talking about you know like maybe. Uh, there are like some borders between, you know, not confident and confident and maybe overconfident. Oh, you know, yes, like yes, it's, yes, it's a good thing. Yeah, so, um, so too much of a good thing or too much of something is, is never uh, good, right? Yeah. So, yeah, you have to uh, stay balanced in a way not to be more uh, overconfident. It's, it's to, for me, it's to stay humble. Yeah. is to stay humble and 
and to uh, recognize and realize that there's always people who is more than us. Mm. That we're not the most uh, superior of, of all. So, yeah, knowing that there's always uh, someone better than us, and also knowing that there's there's always someone that is less lucky than us, mm -hmm. or maybe not so, so fortunate. Yes, yeah, so fortunate or or. Uh, uh, fortunate as in the opportunity or maybe their brain capaci capacity the, the, yeah it's yeah. not equal right yeah. everyone is not equal so you have to acknowledge that and 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 level yourself with others oh, yeah. I think stay grounded also. stay yeah. grounded yes yeah. and we have some you know photos of your activities okay yeah. really <laughs> okay can, yeah, <laughs> you can take a look sure yeah, we can oh, yes. share about this photo. Yeah, this is uh, me uh, doing my radio show uh, at Heart Rock FM. And, and what kind of show, you know? That's a regular show. Uh, yeah. Usually it's uh, from 1 until 4 p.m. every Tuesday and Thursday. Alone, uh, like? Alone. Alone, yes. <laughs> so you talk by yourself. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> me and the mic only. No. <laughs> and we have to, many, many people, uh, make this the the wrong impression that when we do our, our radio show uh, we have producer who who already uh, prepared a script for us that that is so wrong we have to search for our own content and make our own scripts and and yeah do everything this by self self made self produce also yes. you had there. <laughs> and right. also you have to improvise you know, because, yeah. exactly <laughs> yeah and next photo maybe you can share which one is that? Yeah. Oh, this is this is interesting. Yeah, I, I was uh, in a uh, I was in a uh, project with some friends. Yeah. Uh, they made uh, a poetry book. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then when they wanted to launch it, we make uh, we make the book launch uh, very interesting because uh, it's an audio book. Oh, it's an audio. Yes, yeah, so so they, uh, we have uh, we have the book, and also we uh, have some voice casts who who contribute uh, to the process. Yes, of to the, the audio book. Yes, yes, yes. And we have the if you buy the book, we have a CD that you can listen to the book. We can and and there's also a music. There's a very amazing music background um, of, that comes along with the stories and and comes along with the books. And this photo is uh, one of our showcase uh, in front of, uh, I think, the uh, Readers Festival, Indonesia's oh. Readers, Readers Festival. Yeah, and uh, they wanted us to showcase and, 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 and demo the, the, audiobook the audio book live. Oh, live. Yes, yeah. yes. And you're, you're one of them? You, yes, you're I am <laughs> one of the voice cast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a very an interesting uh, experience because it's different than radio show and, and emceeing. You have to like really uh, get into the characters, get in the mood of the of the story. Of the story yes. also. And maybe you can share about All this Restus Tinega. This is one of uh, the the most fun talk show that I've had uh, in Hard Rock FM. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, do, do you know Risto Sinaga? Yeah, know You've him. heard about yeah. him? Yes, he's, an, he's a, one of the senior actor here in yeah. Indonesia. And um, it was very fun because he was hilarious and we, j we joke around fun and we talked about it's a, it's like a like a naughty session that we have. Yes, because, <laughs> yeah, it's, because a, it's midnight. Midnight, yeah, that's yeah, right. It's midnight, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So more casual, you know. Like. Yeah, it's more casual and relaxed, and talk about uh, his upcoming movie, and we played some games. Yeah, so it was very fun. Yeah. So how does you know like you know uh, being. From the start, from being just a radio announcer mm -hmm. and involves into like speaking in front of public and how you you know how is it differ and how you okay. can find you know because it's quite different you know yes. being in front of the mic and then you know speaking in front of public yes you know. yes 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 I get it so what uh, I started r doing radio announcer from 2006 and on 2008 a friend of mine trusted me to uh, be. To, to be an MC uh, in one of uh, his events. By that time, I had none experience of being an MC. Zero experience. <laughs> Zero experience. <laughs> and, yeah. and I just said, yes, okay, just bring it on. You know, like very excited of new opportunities. Mm -hmm. 
And then when I started the uh, this, the event, I realized that I had zero experience. I had never learned how to be an MC. Is <laughs> I thought it was something more similar than doing radio yeah. uh, announcing, but it turns out very different, very very different because you have a real audience that uh, that, that that is looking at you, staring at you, you to get your their yes, attention. their attention <laughs> and make them stay. Uh, yeah. as boring as the event can be yeah. but you have to make the, their attention stay and focus on you mm. and and yeah it's a very very different that's the uh, one of the factor that that difference it uh, but also has a, a different challenge and different uh, how do you say it? different fun because uh, yeah fun. different kind of fun that's right uh, because sometimes during live events like that things can can go wrong and there's uh, that's when the MC part really takes a, a, an important role as in for example when you uh, if, if there's a launching for something for a product I, I this happened to me yeah. once <laughs> okay here you go and this is the new uh, product Ta -da! there's no sound <laughs> The the sound was off. The sound was yeah, off. it's supposed to be like a, a like a fanfare, okay, yeah. like a grande mm. music, and the sound is off. And I was like, okay, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, so like I just have to improvise yeah. very quickly and, and and fill up the 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 dead air so that air moment. So yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so that's quite yeah. Yeah, that's quite an experience. Yeah. Yes. So mm, maybe there are you know some tips and uh -huh. for yeah, personal tips. From you that mm -hmm. they can inspire uh, our smart viewers, you know how to you know, even find self-confidence yes. in knowing what sh what they want. You know. Yes, that's very good. Uh, I think our own worst enemy is ourself. We mm -hmm. are our own worst enemy. Uh, no one cannot tell you how good you are unless you realize that you are that good. Unless you uh, really acknowledge that. Uh, you know what your strength, you know what your weaknesses is, and and you know everybody has their own weaknesses, right? Mm -hmm. There's no one, nobody's perfect, but it's how you can manage your strength to overcome your weaknesses, so that you will look like you're you don't have any flaw. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's about <laughs> perceptions. <laughs> yeah, and you can only also compete with yourself. Yes, yeah. that's right. So if if somebody tells you that oh no you you, you did a, a poor job or something, that who, uh, the one who can bring you down is your own self. Yeah. Okay. And so as long as you acknowledge that uh, you already gave it your best, you tried your best, and to remember that. Uh, Knowing when to uh, accept criticism and to uh, introspect yourself. Oh, okay, so thank you yes. so much, Nisa, for coming. Into thank you so show. much, William, yeah. for having me. Thank you, and um, you know, maybe your inspiration can inspire others also. Yeah. Hopefully, so, yeah. hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thank you so much for staying tuned and our face-to-face. -face. I'm William Grandy signing off. We'll see you on another episode.